of the news is just it, it's it's S M H to the us utmost way. I mean, I don't know if my neck can shake. I shake hard enough to see the stuff that is going on to see all the stuff is being preparing to happen concerning this end time situation is occurring now I want to uh, talk about um in the a new moon uh a new moon is going to be in October 30th and that will precede Halloween that is quite interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's the new moon, then Halloween. And I'm just saying that is a ugly combination. Because if you do your research on the new moon in occultist uh, practices, that it, the new moon is very sacred to them because of a particular reason of who they worship concerning the new moon or this goddess they worship in the new moon really is something to pay attention to. But I want to talk about uh, November 1st. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about November 1st, All Saints Day. I'm just going to get start blasting out All Saints Day in majority of my videos. All Saints Day. Because, you know, it's just crazy that, you know, you do... I mean... Look, I just did simple research. I, I The research wasn't really complicated. It was just asking simple questions of, of why the church is bad and you, and you go find out concerning the Roman Catholic Church and how much they played a role in a huge role or more likely they established the desecration of the ideal of the ideal of the church. I mean, they just, they started pretty much. When you do your research, you'll find that out. Um, but I looked and I looked at a lot of stuff that they have switched. Like I keep telling y'all about the um, you know uh, the days of the week uh, were named. Where the church, the the first century church, they understood the name of the uh, days of the week was supposed to be named after the uh, uh, archangels. They're supposed to be named after the archangels. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and a whole lot of stuff that has been hidden now in scripture that nobody's not ta talking about. That the, of course the the started off with the Holy Roman Church. The Holy Roman Church, but the Holy Roman Church was on the agenda to, uh, of course, per pervert and twist the ideal of Christianity and to suppress the ideal of Christianity too. suppress understandings like, you know, like the Sunday. Everybody's still thinking that this happens is Sunday. Oh, my God. But the thing is, you know, it's Saturday, you know, and the thing is, and Saturday is not the name of the day. It's the day. They a barrel, but watch. But what what but what the um Catholic Church did is they put instead of you know putting the name of the days of the archangels, they made prayers out of Michael the archangels on Sunday and Gabriel praying for angels, praying to angels. Should, should I mean how much red flag you need to know to know that this is totally wrong and not of God when. Jesus Christ is our mediator that we have to pray to him and he will speak to the Father. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, it's a whole lot of bad stuff that they have done. Now, I come to research, of course, Halloween, ran across of All Saints Day a while back. You know what I'm saying? God felt, I felt led to research Halloween and I ran into All Saints Day. And I'm looking at the ideal of All Saints Day. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the Catholic Church knows about All Saints Day. That guess what? That the first century church was celebrating All Saints Day. Well, not the whole first century church, but a collective of, of church people was celebrating All Saints Day that God told me. You know what I'm saying? On, on November 1st. And the reason why November 1st 
because it proceeded the idea of um a uh uh Rosh Hashanah and uh Yom Kippur and 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 then bam they established you know the pattern of All Saints Day with that pattern you know what I'm saying concerning the church and it's I, I love the ideal of All Saints Day and I I I and you know the the Catholic Church um supposed to celebrate it but they don't celebrate it concerning what it's all about you don't even see it celebrated in television about All Saints Day in the Catholic Church, but they're supposed to be celebrated, but they're not going to celebrate it because it's all about hiding it. It's all about hiding the truth when it comes to, you know, villains. Villains that operate in lies are trying to hide the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's for those that wants to know the truth to find the truth. You know what I'm saying? Not accept the negative things and you know, how negative they have to really be for people to want to find the truth is is the ideal of that it, is you going to accept lies or are you going to find the truth? That's really the, it, what it boils, supposed to boil down in life concerning the absolute truth. Either you set the error that's going on right now that, you know, false gods and goddesses are supposed to be named after the days of the week and an incorrect Sunday, you know, Sabbath day, and and but how, and and if this incorrect, then how much incorrect things has to continually happen on the world? You know what I'm saying? To say this is wrong, let me go find the truth, or let's go find the truth, or somebody might know the truth, or something. That is the problem I see of Christians these days, mainly Christians. Hopefully, that people in the world will say, hey, you know. This world is, people are dying. There's a lot of confusion, conflict, chaos. There's a lot of crazy, stupid things going on. Let me go find out the truth. You know what I'm saying? It's like this idea. But All Saints Day is really a hol- is, is a holiday, a Christian holiday. But people don't know about this Christian holiday because they're busy celebrating pagan holidays. You know, uh, error, rec- error will recognize error. That's how I look at it. And the thing is, the church has been error for too long. I mean, it, people think that division and domin- denominations are supposed to make sense of a church that is supposed to be operating in unity of the faith should not make sense. Um, but that's another message. But All Saints Day is a legitimate holiday. And it, and, and guess what? That And that's why Halloween was put on October 31st. You know what I'm saying? To make sure saints don't worship all saints that. You know what I'm saying? That people don't even know that. Because they never researched it. They're just busy celebrating in this church. Leaders of the churches ignoring this, uh, the holidays. Ignoring the idea that Jesus, the, about Christmas. Ignoring all these pagan holidays and making with their ignorance, making Christians participate in them, and they're totally wrong. You know what I'm saying? This God, like John 4, 24, God is of a spirit, and they shall worship him in spirit. Watch this. And in truth, in truth, whatever is going to be about God, it has to be based upon the truth. Is what people are not understanding concerning God because they're not having a real, true, legitimate relationship with God, because and and they don't have the fear of God. That's why I have God a ween is very important to remind everybody about the fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And how much lack of it is the evidence of the things that are going on in the world. How much how bad the world is becoming, worse and worse and worse. But, you know, the thing is, the idea of All Saints Day is all about, you know, remembering that we are a, a, a spiritual warfare. It's the reminder of spiritual warfare. In, in the scripture of All Saints Day is Ephesians 6 and 12. So, you know, it talks about, you know, for, you know, for we not wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers and rules of darkness in this world. Spiritual wickedness in high places. It's a fight against, it's, it's a reminder of the fight 
against, you know, these people. These are our enemies. And that we must become one as a church. That we must see ourselves in a militant viewpoint, not this social club viewpoint that, you know, social club click viewpoint that go to my building or you go to that building over there, I go to the building over there. No, that we must see ourselves in the militant, that we are one uh, in, in God, we're one in the Word of God concerning what the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, what His Word is all about, and we're going to follow His Word, standing upon spirit and truth, you know what I'm saying, is what this ideal of all saints day is all about that the church is not celebrating and of course it probably is not going to celebrate it because it's so much entangled and so much error is ridiculous so i'm going to probably in the next videos are going to keep showing people about all saints day more and more and uh you know and some other stuff you know what i'm saying to make because I need to get people to understand All Saints Day is the is is the purpose of Halloween. They put it Halloween right on the day to make sure Christians don't uh, uh, participate in All Saints Day. And you know you'll find out that okay, I see why the darkness, the bad guys will do this because if if there would have been a holiday that all Christians can come together as one. And celebrate the ideal that we're supposed to be about spiritual warfare, be militant, and come against the enemies of darkness. The church will be the conquering force that the scripture says it's supposed to be. But it's not the conquering force, you know what I'm saying, that it's supposed to be because it's operating in division, tradition, and religion. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, All Saints Day is the reminder of that understanding. That was, you know, what it was created, you know, by the first century church. Because if you understand about the ideal of Catholicism, and it was once the Holy Roman Catholic Church, they collected all these items and all across the Christian items to suppress certain information. And, you know, it's in the Vatican City, you know, Vatican Ball, that, you know, they don't want y'all to find out about you know, the ideal of the true, you know, church and the true first century church people knew about uh, the whole ideal of what church is supposed to be all about. They know the Sabbath is on Sunday. I mean, it is on uh, Saturday and Friday night to Saturday. They understand, you know, all kind of stuff concerning the festivals. Yes, the festivals. That Yes, the church is supposed to have festivals every two weeks. The, ch ch the whole body of Christ is supposed to have festivals concerning the gathering together of brothers and sisters you know in Christ and encouraging people about the faith and of course we're supposed to be one you know one body and many members not uh, many members at many buildings you know um, it's this whole uh, and that's what this um, is all about revealing the truth is exposing the lies and revealing the truth is what you know, I'm all about doing concerning uh, uh, the kingdom of God and and also helping you understand what is reality. Uh, so, but it's up to you, your choice of what you want to follow and what you want to believe. But I will be trying to help people understand about All Saints Day in the next uh, videos I'm doing because I believe this All Saints Day is going to be very powerful. I think All Saints Day is going to be a very powerful All Saints Day. I believe it's going to be the All Saints Day that the, the true believers of Christ or the saints of the Most High will unite unite in this All Saints. It's the, going to be the beginning period of the unification of the true church that's going to happen very soon. I truly believe that very soon. So that's why I'm trying to get people to go talk about All Saints Day. And I hope and encourage you to and ask your, you know, Christians, ask your other fellow Christians, do they know about all things that? You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all can do that to get people to understand. And when you when you hear that response, like, all saints day, what's that? <laughs> it shows you how much error of this church is operating in and how we need to get things back in spirit and truth to get it right. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it and I hope you understand it. To God be the Lord. 
now, for and ever, and ever in Jesus' name, amen.